sheep fans, in today's video we are up on the island of Orkney and we're speaking to fan favourite, the Viking. He's going to tell us about his first six months in his new farm and the challenges he's faced there so far. If you enjoy this content, please click the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so as promised, sheep fans, we're here with the big man, Sean. How are you getting on? Not too bad, yeah. How, this kind of focus of this chat, you've been on here a lot, obviously you're a natural at it. But the focus of this one, as we said in the intro there, is about Sean and his new farm, and that's you. Are you how long have you been at now? Not, not a year yet? No, no, just since February. Ah, so hardly any time at all. Yeah. Before we get into it, tell us a bit about the farm. I would say it would be probably classed as a hill farm up here, really. Because the majority of the land is kind of hillier like land, it's 540 acres and uh, there's probably a bit of, after the draining and like a wee bit of like e extra work we'll probably take in 120 acre of ploughable land that we could turn over and get good grass in it but the rest is hill, heathery hill most of it but within the hill itself there is better patches that could be improved also, but you wouldn't get a plough in them. And, and there's a big handling here, anyone that's watched this farm in life and has, has seen the cussers and what they've been doing, or just follows uh, Sean's other social media pages, you've got a fair handling here at home. Aye. Why buy another farm? Uh, the reason being is, like, well, like, me folks had kids quite young, and, like, me father's still quite fresh and fit, and he's farming his life, and it's also, like, his brother... Uh, him and my uncle's in partnership here and uh, my uncle's eight years younger than my father so the the firm's their life as well and uh, when you're young and enthusiastic and you want to get going you can uh, Who's young and enthusiastic, sorry? Me <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, maybe not so I much anymore somebody else all of a sudden yeah, yeah. Uh, but You're not that young either You, can, you kind of uh, want to do your own thing you're only here once, you might as well try and achieve as much as you can in the time you're here. There's probably no quite enough work to keep me here full time anyway. Like I was always shearing and working, doing the pier at the layerage and just picking up jobs off the farm any ways I could because we could kind of stomach it here. But uh, I thought, well, instead of doing that, like I would rather like try and just build up we're on kind of enterprise on the side and and since you've got the farm then what's the challenge has been what have you done to the place the main challenges to the farm is uh, we've probably underestimated how much work we had home here to do already like i could have been here whole, whole time <laughs> without buying another bloody farm aye, and aye. Uh, probably the main challenge is, is it's a rundown farm that needs a lot of work to get it running we've had to put stock on it and we've had to try and get things turned over but the infrastructure in the farm's not really ready for it like it's it's quite hard to manage because the fences are poor and the, like just everything's a bit rundown and like i would say since we bought it we've been surviving rather than farming you're just constantly on the go every single day trying to get done the main priorities every day and not really being on top of any situation. Buying a farm in February is not the easiest time to stock up either. You can make your master breeding sales and all that. Bought in some kind of what I thought was quite cheap Shetland yows in lamb. Uh, we bought nearly 400 of them as a, as a, well, we bought 360 and then I bought another 40 out of the local mark. And what, uh, were, we, what were we paying for those 360? Aye, uh, we paid about £36 a head average aye. for the, and they were in lamb and I scanned them as soon as we came home and we got 120% scanning out of them. Good scanning for Shetlands. Yeah, so I was, I was fairly happy were, with Were they that. out of Shetland? No, they were actually out of Aberdeen. Um, but for your Shetland. Why <laughs> they'd come to <laughs> Shetland? Back up. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. Uh, so you eat Shetlands with any other stock? Any other sheep? Just yeah, just we bought some Cheviots. I bought some Cheviots in the end of March. I just seen them on Facebook. I thought I'd inquire. There was there's 66 of them, and they were all scanned twins, and they were to lamb within the next kind of two weeks. And the fellow was asking 150 pound a head, and at that time, cast use were making 100 like Cheviot cast use were making 150. I thought, well, if I can get two lambs out each that yow so I shouldn't have lose out on that either so bought them and then having the ewes on the hill 
all winter I kind of realised that there's been so little activity on the hill th- through the last bloody 20 years the whole thing's gotten way beyond any stock and it's needing to be taken back in the line as you could say so we've bought some cows for it too we bought a uh, about six Highlander cross shorthorn heifers with lemmy calves at foot. Mm-hmm. We paid uh, seventeen hundred pound a unit for them, and well, six heifers and seven calves. So aye, aye. I thought, we'll, we'll, them. Aye, we'll get, we'll we'll keep them for their lifetime anyway. But I, I don't know if I'll keep coos on it. I'm just kind of bought them to try and break up the hill a wee bit, and then maybe tear off some of that overgrown stuff. You've also done a lot to the ground as well. Aye, like a lot of fresh looking gra- young grass. Yeah, yeah, it's, over there. Like, in the initial plan that we put for our budget, we were going to try and get the land turned over in five years. But uh, we started off reseeding. You've done uh, it all in six months? Yeah, uh, we've done half of it in, yeah, six months. Uh, just thought, we just thought we're going to have to pick this money out for reseeding anyway. Uh, but it's not that easy to take land out of commission when you're fully stocked and you're needing it all. An interesting thing, one of the parks, in this park you're seeing here on the screen, uh, what's the seed you've put in here? This is a, it's a grass mix with some rape in it as well. Yeah, we put, uh, well, we sew our full grass mix and we put half a kilo of rape in with it, just as a bit of cover. We're, we're fella that, he, that deals with grass seed here, he reckoned it gave the new grass a bit of cover and just a bit more, when you're going to the trouble of planting something, you get a bit more bulk and a bit more yield out here. Your, your your crop that you're putting in and I'm kind of glad I did it because it has yielded a lot of stuff and it's fed a lot of lot of stock and it's done quite well. I, I like that Sean just gets on with things and improves things rather than just works away with the same stuff, you know, same old pasture that's there, throw the Shetlands on, see what happens, brings math. It wouldn't work for everyone because you need you need assets behind you, you need a bit of money to do that, you need the machinery. You're quite fortunate having a home for already, you've got tractors, you've got the, all the stuff you need to do, the ploughing, to do the drains, do the seeding, you have that there. You're not actually, you know, it's not like a whole new, I've just bought a farm, now I need a tractor, now I need this. But it uh, makes you move so much faster than. Oh, definitely. Get it like, done. I wouldn't have managed it with me further. Like, he's mm-hmm. done a hell of a work doing there. Like, uh, like they're both kind of gifted me the tractors and that to use Aye. to turn the land over and all the drains and stuff it was done with. I don't imagine they'd be able to stop you right enough if you're. Aye. To... <laughs> no, but I. Like, no, I know what you're saying. Aye. Head, head was the. Head, head, like, Feather is in on it with me as well. You can, so he's. But, like, he's. I'm lucky that he's. Uh, that he go ahead as well, like he oh, likes course, likes the challenge yeah. and new stuff. So yeah, yeah. it's working well. Me last ten years of farming, it, it's I've just been working towards building assets, buying mm-hmm. a house land and building stock up. Sorry to jump back so abruptly to me here, sheep fans. However, the constant rain got into my microphone and killed the audio there just at the end. But you didn't really miss anything of purpose. Just Sean and I discussing where we were having dinner that night. Hope you enjoyed that one. It was a little look at what Sean's doing up there, and I'm sure we'll see more of it whenever I'm up visiting. If you've enjoyed this video, as I said, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Thanks to everyone who's been on the merch store and bought merchandise supporting us. It's been fantastic. I know I've been slow with the videos this summer, but shearing's just about finished now and we get back to some normality. I'm looking forward to taking you guys to a lot of sheep sales and hopefully we can do some farm visits and try some new things on the channel. Not always these big long vlogs. I'm trying to shorten them down make the editing process easier because as a lot of you will know family life takes over looking after all these sheep takes over and i'm really been toiling recently with the the editing time so we need to try and make life easier for myself which is what i'm hoping to do so that we can get the content to you guys but still keep it interesting that's enough rambling cami thanks folks